Jabari, left wing three. Got it! What a pass, what a play. On the right side, 18 footer. Go! There's just not a lot of 6'10 guys with that good a stroke. About to watch one of his workouts to see how he's preparing for the draft. What's up, young fella? What's up? How you doing? Good. Good. I'm looking Good. forward to this. Yeah, Go get dressed. I got you. All right. Dropping the right, going to your jab shot. There we go. Good. Good pace. Great feet. That's two. Yeah. You like that. When I think about Jabari Smith, I think versatility on both ends of the court. He can guard one through five, guy that can take over offensively, but can be a disruptor defensively because of his size, his length, and his ability to slide his feet with small guards. What you guys are doing is phenomenal. Then the next step is we're going to go here and see what you got, see if you're ready. You ready? Ready. Your guys put you to a big time workout. They were trying to make you uncomfortable, but I never saw you get rattled. Where does that come from? It's coming from working out with my dad since I was five. Him working me out the way he was when I was that age, it was like, why are you doing this to me? But it's just preparing me for, for this moment now. I'm still trying to amp it up and get to that next level. Up to Smith, running to the cup for a roundhouse right hand reverse. Smith is going to put up the three, and then he puts it in. The cutter, Smith. Now, having a dad that played in the NBA, not a lot of people had that advantage. How much have he's helped you with your game? Uh, he's helped me so much. He's been through everything I'm going through right now. He can tell me what he's been through and just, you know, give me tips along the way. Everybody talks about your work ethic, and this has been legendary. The one thing I got a chance to talk about your dad, he said he didn't really push you. You wanted to get out there and get up at 530. Yeah. When I was younger, I had to, you know, go in the driveway, of course, so... Wake up before school with my brother, you know, get some shots up. Come on, three anyway. Good, that's one. Let's go. I just fell in love with it so quickly. It wasn't even the fact that I was waking up early. It was like I'm ready to get up, like ready to go work out with, with Big Bro and my dad. It was just fun, you know what I mean? And then when I got older, the fun never went away. Snap it up. There we go. Snap it up. One, two, three, four, in out. Just working and staying with it, I could feel myself getting better and I could really see where I could go with the game. And that's when I really started pushing myself, trying to train to be a pro at a young age. There is Hot, and then there's Jabari Smith Hot tonight. You want to know why Jabari Smith is going to be a top five pick in the NBA? Just watch his game. It is silky smooth. What impresses me most about his game, he can flat out shoot the basketball. He's locked in. He has picture-perfect form. His body, his make, his skill set is a perfect match for the NBA in today's game. I ain't gonna let you get no big here, but I'm gonna give you some compliments. I, I saw you shoot the basketball. Mm -hmm. I don't know the exact number, but it was like 45 <laughs> out of 50 from three. Mm -hmm. I was impressed. You know, um, like when I feel like I find my rhythm and find that wrist and just really lock in and, and really zero in, I feel like I can, I can shoot with the best of them. So, you know, it's just me being more, being mature enough to not get away from my mechanics. You know, when I start making a few, it's easy to just get away from it, but it's just when you really zero in and lock in, that's when I feel like I'm shooting the best. That's what you do. That's what you do. The shot. You drop in the right, Jay. The curl. There we go. You know, everybody wants to compare everybody. But who did Jabari look up to and, and, and love to pattern his game back when he was growing up? It definitely wasn't one player. You know, LeBron was definitely the person who I used to look at and just be like, wow, he can do everything. LeBron James! Throw it down! Shoot, pass, dribble. You know, just control the game. Here is on with a throwdown. Giannis, Bam has been a has been a favorite for me as of late. You know, even Anthony Davis, like mm -hmm. how he um, mixes it up. I try not to choose one play. I try to steal something from everybody. I think Jabari Smith has a bright future in the NBA. I think he has a chance to be a multiple All Star, to win Defensive Player of the Year, and he has a chance to be one of the best players in the league. Draft day is coming. Ash, you ready? You got your suit ready? Yeah, I got something to play. I, I got something in mind. Tell me how you envision that day. Hopefully I'm the first name called, you know what I mean? But um, it's going to be a dream come true, you know, having my family with me. It's going to be one of the greatest days of my life. When I say Jabari Smith, the number one pick, what comes to mind for you? Uh, just, just, just all the names that have been number one picks that we've seen, like LeBron and 
Tim Duncan and, you know, all of those great players who've been number one picks, it's like a lot of pressure. But pressure is something I've been dealing with since I was ranked top five in the country, since I was ranked number one in college. Like, all of that is just something you, you go through with being being one of the best. So, you know, I, I accept the pressure. What does Jabari Smith Jr. bring to the table that we're all going to get a chance to watch? That competitive edge. I don't care about stats. I don't care about the numbers that's next to my name. I care about that W or the L. You know, everybody can say I can shoot, score, defend, all of that. But at the end of the day, I want to win. So that's what I'm bringing. That's just me. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Rook.